What's up, you freaking geniuses? So in this video, I'm gonna teach you about lines of symmetry, all right? And we're gonna start with some regular polygons and then we'll get into some more complicated shapes. And I'm also gonna go over a couple word examples, all right? So starting with these uh, regular polygons. Well, first of all, what is a regular polygon? So these are just shapes where all the sides are the same length and where all the angles are also the same, okay? So as you can see on this triangle, all the sides are the same length and all these angles are also the same, right? On this one, it just, this is an, an equilateral triangle, so they're all 60 degrees, okay? So what's nice about regular polygons is that the number of sides is equal to the number of lines of symmetry, okay? So for example, on this triangle, it has three sides, so there's three lines of symmetry, okay? So this is one right there, this is two, and this is three, okay? Same thing on this square, four sides, so we're gonna have four lines of symmetry, right? So there's one, there's two, and then also the diagonals. There's three, and quattro, okay? And then here on this pentagon, we have five, all right? So straight down the middle, that's one, and we're basically gonna have a line of symmetry going through each point over here. Okay, so we have one right here going through this first point, right? Then this is gonna be two right there. Then we're gonna have three, four, and five. Okay, and then on this hexagon, since we have an even amount of sides, it's gonna be a little bit different. Here we're gonna have one. Okay, so you can see it goes from side to side and then two is gonna go from point to point, all right? So that's two. Then we have three, again, from side to side, and then we're gonna have four right there, five, and six, all right? So those are regular polygons, pretty convenient, right? This is an easy enough little rule to remember. Now let's get into some more uh, complicated shapes. All right, here's our fun shapes that we're gonna go over now. So. First of all, something a little easier, here's a rectangle. So we have one, two, and then unlike the square, the diagonals are not lines of symmetry, okay? Because if I draw a diagonal from here to here, okay? Uh, you can imagine that we have a rectangular piece of paper right here, okay? And if I folded it, because a line of symmetry is really just that, it's like a fold in a piece of paper. So if I folded it along this line right here, then you would see that these corner pieces, right, this one and this one would not touch. They would not match up. And on a square, that's what they do, right? So if we had a square and then I had my diagonal right here, right, this line of symmetry, and I folded this pa uh, square piece of paper, this corner and this corner would touch, right? They would match up. But on a rectangle, these two corners, these two little corners right here, don't match up, right? So that's why the diagonal on a rectangle is not a line of symmetry. All right, now let's go to this one right here. So here we have an isosceles triangle. And remember, isosceles just means two sides are the same length. So that would be this side right here and this one right here. Okay, so you can see the bottom one is longer than these two. And the only line of symmetry here would be down the middle right there. Okay, so one line of symmetry. Now on this trapezoid over here, uh, it's the same thing, actually. We only have this one line of symmetry, right? There's no uh, uh, horizontal lines or diagonal lines. That would be lines of symmetry. Okay, now we have this uh, hexagon that's kind of, this side got like sucked out to this side over here. So the only line of symmetry on this shape would actually be right here through the side. Okay, so you can see this side and this side match up when the line of symmetry is right there, right? Okay, and then this last shape we have right here is a star, just like you. So here we're gonna have uh, this first line of symmetry that goes just straight down the middle, right? And something that you might notice is that it goes from this point of the star to kind of this inner part of the star, right? So that's one. So then we're gonna have two right here. So again, it goes from this point to this like inner point. And then we're gonna have three, four, and five. All right, so Patrick over here has five lines of symmetry, all right? Now let's just go over a few 
word examples. Oh man, I remember seeing these on homework. So uh, we're trying to find a line of symmetry in a word. Okay, so for example here, look, you could draw a line of symmetry right here, or is it a line of symmetry? Uh, well, in this case, it's not, right? Because it's very similar, but this L right here is not symmetrical on both sides, right? This L would either have to have like a little mark right here, or we'd have to get rid of this part of the L, right? So in this case, there is no line of symmetry in this word in look. All right, now let's go to this word right here, dad. Uh, well, is there a line of symmetry right here? No, there's not, okay? This D would basically have to be backwards in order for it to be symmetrical, right? So it'd have to be like that, okay? Then I could say, oh yeah, there's a line of symmetry right there. These two sides are symmetrical, but uh, just written normally like this, there's no line of symmetry, okay? What about in this word, mom? Uh, well, in this one, there is a line of symmetry right there, okay? Because again, if I cut this out into a piece of paper, all these little corners and stuff would match up, right? This outer corner would match this outer corner. This corner over here would match this corner, right? Everything would match up very nicely. So this is your only line of symmetry right here. Okay, and in the word ox, uh, the line, there's one line of symmetry and it would be right there, okay? Because again, if I had uh, a cutout of this word and I folded it along this line right here, you could see this would match up with this, and this part of the X would match up with that part of the X, right? So there's one line of symmetry right there. So if you found the video helpful, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. And if you have any other questions or want to see any other examples, just let me know in the comment section below.